Hello, everyone. It's your boy, King Jives, back with another fire episode, and this one's going to be something else. We're going deep into some church matters and a little bit of politics. It's all here. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Let's get those numbers up and keep building this community. Now, let's dive right into it. All right, y'all. So today we're talking about Bishop J. Drew Sheard and his recent statements about some other prominent Kojic leaders, Bishop Patrick Wooden and William. Now, there's been a lot of back and forth lately, and this whole situation has stirred up strong opinions. Bishop Sheard had some powerful words to say, especially regarding Bishop Wooden, his support for Kamala Harris, and his criticisms of Bishop William's alleged misconduct. Buckle up, because we're going to break it all down. First off, Bishop Sheard's relationship with Bishop Patrick Wooden goes way back. These two have been through a lot together, and it shows. They first met in Washington, D.C., where Sheard was drawn to Wooden's fiery preaching style. He's always spoken about Wooden's integrity and loyalty, even mentioning how Wooden once turned down an opportunity to advance his own career out of respect and loyalty to Sheard. That's what he calls true friendship. Sheard has made it clear. He sees Bishop Wooden as his brother. And you know, in these days, true friends are hard to find. Despite others trying to pit them against each other, their friendship has only gotten stronger. That kind of loyalty is rare, and Sheard is showing nothing but admiration for Wooden's character. Now, things start to get a little heavier. Bishop Sheard didn't hold back his criticism of Bishop William. According to Sheard, William's actions have led to the downfall of other leaders in the church, including some good friends of his, like Superintendent Randolph. And then there's the allegations against William of sexual misconduct. Henry Shields, another church leader, has apparently made accusations that have put William in a tough spot. These are serious allegations and Sheard isn't sugarcoating his words when he calls on William to own up to his actions and take responsibility. Here's where things take an interesting turn. When it comes to politics, Sheard and Wooden have some differing opinions. Bishop Sheard has openly endorsed Kamala Harris, highlighting his support for her as a candidate who stands for unity and social progress. He encourages his followers to vote for her, citing the importance of voting as a way to make real change. On the other side, Bishop Wooden has some pretty strong opinions against Harris. Wooden's concerns mainly stem from her support for issues like same-sex marriage and abortion, which he argues are harmful to the black community. He's particularly vocal about how he believes that these issues impact family structures and values, especially within black households. For him, it's not just politics. It's about preserving certain traditional values that he holds dear. These differing views between Sheard and Wooden don't just represent two men. They represent a split in values that's seen across many religious communities. You have one side, represented by Sheard, which leans towards social justice and progress, focusing on unity and voting as a tool for change. On the other side, you have Wooden's perspective, which emphasizes conservative values expressing concerns about family and social stability. This is bigger than any single election. It's about a crossroads in the black church and community, about the direction they want to take as a whole. And let's face it, the 2020 election stirred up all kinds of opinions, debates, and divides, not just politically, but socially and religiously. We're seeing these big social questions bubble up in the church questions about what it means to be a community, to keep traditions alive, or to support new directions for progress. It's a lot to take in, and we're here to break it down piece by piece. Let's get back to Bishop William. Sheard isn't just disappointed. He seems genuinely hurt by what he feels is a betrayal. To him, William's actions aren't just a personal failing. They're an attack on everything Sheard stands for. This whole situation has led Sheard to criticize William for causing rifts between other church leaders. And what he seems to be saying is that William's actions have hurt the unity and integrity of the church. Before we go any further, I just want to take a quick second 
to say thank you to everyone who's tuning in right now. If you're here enjoying the show and want to help us keep these conversations going, we would truly appreciate any support you can give. If you're able, you can check out the donation options in the description. Cash App and other methods are available, and every little bit helps keep this platform strong and growing. You are the reason we can do this, and I am beyond grateful. So, back to Sheard and Wooden. When Sheard talks about Wooden, you can hear the respect in his voice. He admires that Wooden turned down a career advancement because he didn't want to turn his back on Sheard. And that right there, folks, is something rare in today's world. He calls Wooden a man of integrity and says that true friendship is shown in actions like that. You have to respect it. But then, with William, Sheard's tone shifts. His disappointment is real. He's calling William out because he sees these issues as hurting the church he loves. And with the allegations surrounding William, there's no doubt that these are serious concerns. Sheard wants accountability, plain and simple. All right, so bringing it back full circle, what do these opinions mean for the church and the black community? There's a reason this conversation resonates. People are seeing a difference between holding traditional values and pushing for progress. And while one side of the conversation, like Sheard's, calls for civic engagement and unity, the other, like Wooden's, is focused on preserving certain core beliefs and values. When Sheard encourages people to vote, he's saying it's time for all voices to be heard, to bring about justice and equality. And when Wooden raises concerns about family values and social issues, he's reminding us that faith and morals play a strong role in guiding communities. Both perspectives bring up big, tough questions that are challenging the Black church, pushing it in new directions. This is one of those conversations that's going to keep unfolding, y'all. Bishop Sheard's support for Kamala Harris and Bishop Wooden's criticism of her bring out different sides of an issue that's not just about the church. It's about the direction of the entire community. Thank you so much for tuning in and being part of this conversation. If you enjoyed this episode, please remember to like, share, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to support the platform, check out the donation options in the description. Every bit helps us continue bringing you content that matters. Much love to each of you for being here, for supporting, and for being such a fantastic community. Until next time, stay blessed, stay informed, and keep the love strong.